Hey guys, I'm going to go ahead and make this video for you all um, so that you can make your own wood sign mock-ups um, in Cricut Design Space. So I had a lot of comments on my post um, in one of the Facebook groups um, asking to see a video on how I did my mock-ups. Um, so here it is. Um, just hopefully I'll be able to... Uh, I won't go too fast for you guys. Um, just tag me in the group if if you have any questions or anything after you watch the video. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, <clears throat> the first thing that you want to do is take blank pictures of your signs. So what I did is um, I had a few signs that I had made and before I actually added the design onto them, I went ahead and just took pictures of them. Um, so I have pictures of different size signs um, and um, with different props, I staged my, my um, signs with different things from Hobby Lobby and stuff like that to make them look nice. So I've got a few different ones on here and there's a frame sign. This is the one that I used in the um, in the group photo. So that's the first thing you want to do is go ahead and make you a JPEG of your blank signs. Once you get that, um, what you're going to do is open up Cricut Design Space. All right, and once you get in here, we're going to create a new project. Now, what you're going to want to do um, is if you'll notice down here I have all these designs and all that in my already uploaded into design space um, what you need to do is get your JPEG loaded into design space so that's the first thing you want to do so go ahead and click upload image and then you'll browse and I have mine in their own little folder so I'm just gonna click on that um, I think I'm gonna do this one I'm gonna bring this one into design space Nope, you know what? I already have this one in there. Let me do a different one. Let's put Let's put this one in there. Okay. So, once you select your JPEG um, and have it put in like this, um, you're going to select complex image and then you're going to hit continue. And mine is extremely big because I took this on my regular camera, not my cell phone, so it's huge. Um, so I'm just going to zoom out, make sure everything looks good, and it does. So I'm going to hit continue. Now, an important thing when you're importing your JPEG, um, you do not want to save it as a cut image. You want to save it as a print, then cut image. If you save it as a cut image, it's not going to import correctly, and you're going to have to delete it and start over. So save it as a print, then cut and then give it a name over here if you want. I'm gonna leave this the same. And then we're gonna click Save. And it'll take a minute. Um, usually with these, they take a little bit longer than if you're uploading it SVG. All right. And you can see here is my JPEG right here. Um, this is the other one that I uploaded. Um, I'm actually gonna use this first one that I uploaded um, for this thing or uh, for this video but um, what you want to do is select your JPEG and then select the design that you want to put on it and I think I want to use this always stay humble and kind I like that design so we're gonna select both of those and then click insert images and this will take a little bit for some reason it, it takes design space a while to get your JPEG in there so we get to watch this spin for a few minutes. Um, oh, all of the designs that I use um, are designed by me. Um, I have commercial licenses for the fonts that I use. And um, I also have an Etsy shop that I list all my designs on. So if you ever see any of my designs posted in the group or um, anything like that and you want them for yourself, you can go on over to my Etsy shop and, uh, oop, there's our JPEG. I will um, show that link here at the end of the video. So our JPEG's in here. We're going to make this bigger. 
I like to make it a good size so I can see my sign good. Whoop. Here we go. Okay. Now, as you can see here, see these words are behind my picture. So I'm going to click on these words. We're going to go to Arrange, Move to Front, and that will bring our words up to the top. And now we're just going to position them on the sign where we want them. Now this is a little bit big, so I'm going to unlock the uh, proportions on this, and I'm going to adjust my words. Let's make it like this. That looks good. Perfect. Okay. So, now I've got my words on my sign. An important thing you want to do when you get your words on your sign is you want to, over here in your right-hand column, you want to click on the scissors for your SVG. Not, not your JPEG, but your SVG. So when you click on your scissors, you'll get this little pop-up. And what we want to do is we want to change this from a cut image to a print image. So we're going to change this to print. And you can see what it does is it takes the, the black cut lines off of your, um, of your SVG, basically. So if I was to change the color of the words on here, I would not have a black outline but I'm going to leave them black because I like them looking black on here. Now, um, I don't want them this dark black, so what I'm going to do is just like pull this up a little bit just to kind of fade the black out just a tiny bit to just to make it look more like it's actually painted on the sign instead of just popping on there. So I kind of like that. That's perfect. I'm going to leave that like that. So I'm going to click off of everything. And that's actually it. That's how you make make the actual mock-up. Now the only thing we have to do is save it. And to save it, what I use is the snipping tool, which is on your Windows PC. You could just search snipping tool and it's a, it's on your computer. Uh, so whenever that pulls up, you just click new and you'll have to move this box out of your way. But when you click new, you'll get these little crosshairs. And what you'll do is you'll take those and you will just outline your picture. I try not to get any of the white in there. So there we go. And then it pops it up in a little separate box like this. And then what I do is click the save icon. And then I will save it. I have a mock-up folder. I haven't put a whole bunch in here yet. And I've already got this one saved. But uh, I'll go ahead and save it again. And um, yeah, I'll go ahead and replace that one. All right, and there I have it. So I can close that out. I can close out my Cricut Design Space. And if I were to go back into my mockups folder, here is my mockup. And it looks just like it's been painted on the sign. It's totally awesome. So that is how you get your mockups in Cricut Design Space. And like I said, if you all have any questions or anything, just um, hit me up in the uh, Facebook groups and um, I'll try to answer them for you. Uh, let me pull up. Let's see if you wanted any of the design like this, this design I just used in this one. This one is on my uh, Etsy shop and that is uh, Etsy.com slash shop slash Tamara. S designs. You can also, I also have a Facebook business page that has that information on there too. So you can search for me on Facebook if you want to follow my page. Um, but that is it. That is all there is to it. So let me know if you all have any questions. You all have a good weekend.